Kelly, you've just told me that you feel rather like you're on countdown. I do. Do, 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 do. I don't think I did that as well as Carol Horderman though, did I? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put the battery in. Okay. And um, please, if you can, five, four, three, two, one, down. Hang on. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, tell me something about yourself that we might not know. Um, I'm a, quite a competent tap dancer. I went to Italia Conti Stage School, and uh, I love tap dancing. And I've never really had the opportunity to really perform as a tap dancer so that would be something I'd like to do one day. Do you keep up your dancing post Strictly Come Dancing? Uh, I do, yes. I, I love dancing and um, since Strictly I was able to do some rehearsals at the National Theatre recently and I got to um, perform an Apache dance which is dance while fighting <laughs> which was quite unique. It would have come in handy with Brendan actually on Strictly Come Dancing. Um, yeah, so that was quite interesting. Very theatrical, lots of drama. Are you ever to be seen out and about dancing in clubs? Yes, yes, I am actually. <laughs> After a few shandies, yeah, I do like to hit the dance floor. How would you describe your sense of humour? You laugh a lot. Um, it's probably nerves, that's why I laugh a lot. Um, my sense of humour, uh, I like banter. You know, I, you know, I've got a little brother and I come from a very working class family that are very grounded and self-deprecating and I guess I'm quite used to you know, just having a bit of banter with people and I, I don't mind kind of having the mickey taken out of me. I actually, I find that amongst friends, that's kind of like a term of endearment. Like the more mean you are to each other, the more someone actually likes you, where I'm from. <laughs> How would you describe yourself in a sentence? Um, what, complimentary? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say all the nice things. Um, uh, I guess I'm quite generous. Um, I don't take life too seriously. Uh, I can be very loving, very independent, and I think I can be funny sometimes. What did you want to be when you were growing up? I always wanted to be a performer. I always wanted to be on the stage. Musical theatre was a passion of mine growing up. You've had a very varied career. Yes. And you're just in a film, actually, aren't you? Keith Lemon, the film. And tell me a little bit about that. It's a bit racy, isn't it? I'm getting the impression I haven't seen it. I've seen a little bit of it. And it's a comedy. It is a comedy. Um, I love comedy. I've worked in America for a little bit and I worked on like American TV shows and sitcoms and worked a lot on the stage um, doing comedy. So for me, something like Keith Lemon, the film, was a real great opportunity for me to show the British public that side of myself because I don't feel like I've ever been able to do anything like that. So the film's very, very tongue in cheek, lots of innuendo. Um, it is what it is. If anyone's a fan of Keith Lemon, then what you see is what you get, basically. Tell me a little bit about the difference between, for you, acting in a film and acting on stage. I think acting on stage is very much an actor's medium. You, you, uh, you basically learn your lines, you really rehearse, and then you're kind of free to just play and, and embellish on what you've already done. And with, a, with film, it's very much a director's medium, so you can do a performance, but the way they edit it and craft it with everyone else and the cameras and everything is is very much you know down to the director and how the end product is so it's very very different how do you stand back and look back at your career so far do you feel you've kind of just gone with the flow of things have you made a lot of conscious decisions or have you been swept along a bit uh, i think at times i've been swept along but also i love to be busy and i love to work and i think for me or with anyone in their career you know you have lots of ups and downs and peaks and troughs and uh, for me, I've always, you know, I don't bang my head against a brick wall if something doesn't work out. I just kind of, kind of learn from it and then move on and then just, um, yeah, I'm quite resilient like that. And I think it's just a case of um, reinventing yourself. And because I went to a theatre arts school, you know, I learned to dance, I learned to sing, I learned to act. You know, so I've always got those tools in my belt in, in a way. So obviously people see the glamour and see you always kind of looking, you know, in your high heels and stuff, but underneath it all, you know, if you don't have, you know, like the, the goods, the talent, is that a bit presumptuous? No, I don't know, I shouldn't really say that, should I? It's a bit presumptuous to assume I have talent, but, you know, you need something to back it all up, and, and I do have that inner confidence knowing that I put all that work in when I was younger that I can always pull that out of the bag. I, Am I running out no, of time? Okay. I, I think I'm right in saying that you were voted the sexiest woman in the world by a magazine. What was that like? Did it put you under pressure? continue looking a certain way? <laughs> no, I think, I mean, obviously that's a compliment, but I think that's, uh, 
I think really those competitions are just for people that are kind of relevant in something at the time. I don't really take it too seriously, but I'm very like flattered, obviously. <laughs> it's a bit silly though. Do you think cover girls, photo shoots, that sort of thing, do you think that puts pressure on girls growing up to look a certain way? Um, I think it can, yes, because obviously it'll be touching that everyone does nowadays and we all need a bit of that. So yeah, it does and that's just the byproduct of it. What do you do to wind down, have fun, four seconds? Uh, yeah, so go and see Keith Lemon the film, it's great fun and there we go. Oh no, I had to get a plug in there. You already had one, what do you, what do, you do though, quickly, bonus, outside of work, what do you do to relax and have fun? Um, I just hang out with my friends and my boyfriend and just... Uh, yeah, I just chill, basically. Not, I'm really boring. I don't ask people about, <laughs> their, about their private lives, who they're dating and all the rest of it, because I don't think it's any of my business. But has it been difficult living your private life to some extent in the media spotlight over the years? Uh, I think it, yeah, I think sometimes it can be quite stressful, yeah, having people outside your house every day taking a picture of you, going to the shop and grabbing a pint of milk. I've always found that, I've always felt really guilty about putting that bringing that into someone else's life because no one wants that and unfortunately that's a byproduct of dating me at this point in my life where there's interest i'm not sure it's going to be forever but at the moment that's the way it is and you just you know it takes a nice um generous man to put up with that kelly brooke thank you very thank much thank you <laughs>